Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn how to subscribe the devices to the Firebase Cloud Messaging topic and send notifications using the Nest.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here we go with the, so first of all we have to set up the project. So FCM notification. So let's go to the terminal and set up the project. So here I'm going to open the project. This is push notifications. I'm going to remove all these unnecessary things. Okay, so let's create a new project from the terminal. Make sure you have to check the node version. It's to be 20. Node hyphen V. Okay, so let's paste this command. FCM notifications, NPM. Just hit enter. So it will create the basic structure of the NestJS. Hardly take two, three more seconds. Okay, done. CD FCM notifications. Okay, let's open the code base also at the same time. So the code base is open. So let's create the first file. First of all, install this Firebase admin SDK. Make sure you have to install this one. So install this npm install Firebase SDK. After the installation, we have to generate the module and the Firebase service with the help of the Nest Generate module Firebase. And for the service, Nest Generate service Firebase. Okay, just copy and paste it over there. So it will generate the respective folders. Okay, source Firebase, Firebase module.ts generated. And then we have to generate the service. Okay, so it will generate the service file. Okay, so Firebase service.specs.ts.module, everything is updated, right? So let's move to the next one. So we have to update the code accordingly. So let's go and just check. We have a source, then we have a Firebase. First one that is we have to go with the Firebase service. So here we have the Firebase service. Let's open it and paste the code into it. Okay, so here we have the code for the Firebase. Send notifications also. Okay. This is done. Anything that creating an issue? I think no. Okay. That is done. Let's save it. Let's view word wrap. Okay. So we have to require the Firebase admin sdk.json service account file. So which will be getting it from the Firebase. So here we go with our Firebase project and from whatever project you have created you have to get the service account file you have to go select your web project so let me go to the project settings and here we have a service account file so make sure you have to generate the service account file and copy and paste it into the respective folder okay so previously i have already done this one so i'm going to copy it from here and paste it over there so this is my json file so let's paste it into our folder okay so you have to just take the path of that one just make it like this testing just make it like this so so just it give you that the path okay okay so this is injectable logout from the next year's common fr base admin we are using admin and the path right so this is our class right so load the service account file key from the file so for this that one so initialize the firebase admin Subscribe to a single device to a topic for that one. You have to use the admin dot messaging or subscribe to topic and here you need to pass the token and the topic then you will get the message that subscribe to the topic. Okay, and then if something goes wrong, it will come like this. If you want to say subscribe multiple devices to the topic, then you have to make the tokens in a array form and then you can subscribe that one. So here you have to subscribe the to topic tokens. You have to pass that should be the array of strings. Okay. And then logger successfully subscribe to the multiple devices and uh, error subscribing some issues, right? And send notification to the topic because we want to send the notification also. So here we go with that one. So topic, title, body, and the data. Okay, so here we have to require the title, body, which title we need to give them, and the body, the description, and whatever the extra data that you want to send to them, then you can go with that one and the topic, 
which was the topic one okay then successfully sent to the message right and if something goes wrong it will print it over here okay next part add firebase to the module okay so source firebase module dot ts you have to add this code over there okay so service module firebase firebase module dot ts firebase firebase module dot ts just add it over there okay done so we have export this one with the provider and the exports next one create the notification controller so we have to create the notification controller for sending the notification so next generate controller notification so just go to the terminal and just paste it like this so it will give me the notification controller in the notification folder so notification and we have a notification controller dot ts this is specs file so we don't require it let's go to the notification controller dot ts so here we are going to put this code right so this is our code end point for this one okay so here we go with the notification sent to the topic controller this we have the endpoints okay here you can see we have import the firebase service right and endpoint to subscribe the single token device to the topic that is we require the token and the topic okay and then uh, it will return that subscribe topic successfully done right endpoint to subscribe multiple device tokens so you can do like this with the array of tokens and subscribe for that one okay and then end point to send the notifications to the topic so topic title body and the data okay so you have to send it like this right okay this is done let's save this moving to the next point now we have to test now we have to app module.ts file we have to update it so let's open the source app module.ts and update it okay so this is done let's run the code npm run start okay so it will give you all the endpoints right let's go and just check each and every one everything okay so here we go with our endpoints and let's open the postman to do that one so testing the endpoints so this is our first endpoint so to subscribe for that one so you can make it individual token or the multiple tokens right so that depends upon to you if you want if you want to make it like this let me just scroll it up down okay if you're single device then notification subscribes single device token and the topic would be news or whatever i will make it like a news okay fine it's not an issue okay let's copy this one and let's open the postman and let's paste this would be the post request device token we require already i think we have a device token we have multiple tokens so make it like a multiple one okay this one just subscribe to the multiple let's take it this one and we have multiple tokens and just pass the topics to them okay let's open to into a new one it is not coming like this okay let's open the new one let's make the post multiple or you can make it single up to you so tokens would be the multiple and the topic would be news okay so i'm going to take this request from here and paste it over here body raw json paste it and remove this one we required only the topic okay topic would be anything so make it news topic these are the token okay let's try to send this subscribe to the multiple device topics this is done so we have two tokens which we already done that one so let's open the browser okay one browser is already open i need to open another browser with the animal one because it's already there so for this one that one okay and uh, we have already subscribed to the topic let's try to send the notifications now 
okay so here we have the notifications let's go and just check this one we have to just make sure that we have to add the topic correctly okay moving to the next and let's make a post request to this and body raw json let's paste this over there the endpoint and let's see what happened okay topic is news breaking news let's try to send it you can see show breaking news stay tuned for the more updates okay so whatever the topic is subscribed so automatically that will go to that notifications to particular device token right so this is how you are able to get this subscribe to the topic and send the notifications to that whatever user has subscribed to that topic okay any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day in the next video what we are trying to do is to unsubscribe the devices because we have subscribed sometimes uh, i want the user to unsubscribe that topic and um, subscribe to the new topic so how we will do that in the next video we are, we are going to learn that part okay thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day.